Hello again, this is part two of my video showing the ViewSonic G tablet running Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich, Team DRH. Um, uh, just to pick up where I left off, we are connecting the Xbox 360 wireless controller using the um, wireless adapter receiver plugged in through the USB and using USB slash BT Joy Center app. <clears throat> All right, so it does recognize the receiver right away. What you got to do is change the input setting from the keyboard to USB Joy IME. Hit OK. Then hit back. And then one more time, USB Joy IME, and now you're set. Now don't close out the app, you just have to back out of it. Now we'll open up N64 OID. Now, you do have to map out the keys, so you'd go into your settings on the emulator, hit settings, the input settings, and key mappings. I already have these mapped out, but just to show you, <clears throat> for instance, uh, analog left, you would hit analog left. And then on the Xbox, hit left. So now it's registered as left. So just back it out. <clears throat> it's flawless. It's a controller for your G tablet now. So now you can play all your ROMs. Um, from all your emulators uh, let's see I only have one hand here so uh, I mapped out the Z trigger to the right trigger here and press B awesome okay let's see let's back out of this oh gotta close it out here let's see um main for droid Um, okay, uh, I think I have these mapped out also. Yeah. So, uh, let's try. I think we've already seen Mortal Kombat. Samurai Showdown. Try that one. I have select mapped out to uh, the coin. Uh, button and start is start. Jinan. Oops. 
Now, um, for main for Droid, it's a little trickier to map out the keys. Uh, I haven't messed with it too much, but uh, I've only gotten I don't know. I got a kick and a punch. Yeah, I'm sucking a lot, but I'm playing with one hand. Yeah, this game's hard. Uh, emulators run great. This ice cream sandwich rum, all the graphics on everything just looks better. Uh, that's probably just a result of the hardware acceleration. But, I mean, games look, they look perfect. Movies run well, look better than before. Just all around, everything's better on this rom. And now I can do this. Which is awesome. I remember before on GTAB Comb, uh, you'd run some uh, some scripts or, or commands in the, termi the terminal emulator, and you could get this to work that way. But it, it was it was a hassle trying to type in all those commands every time you wanted to use this. So now, I mean, I just plug it in and play. It works on everything. Let's see. Get back out of here. Exit game. Exit emulator. Um, let's try NES. Nintendo. Ooh, got a thousand rounds here. Bart versus the world. Oops. You know, on Nintendo, you only have B and A starting to let, so that's all you need. Um. Oh, D-pad. D-pad for NES. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just showing you how it's done. I'm not trying to win here. Grand Theft Auto 3. Also, this game runs very well on this ROM. Uh, I've read uh, some people have issues with it. I haven't had any yet. Hopefully I don't. Now, also, on uh, there, there's an options menu here. But, see, I'm going into controls. There's nothing to map out keys on this. This is all the touch, uh, touch screen control options. So there's no way of mapping keys that I have found, anyways, to a gamepad, which I think is kind of weird. But for the most part, it is playable.
Nice graphics. They really are. Now, like I said, oh, slow down. Huh. I guess there's too much going on, on the screen at one time. You might get some lag. Oh wow, I've never seen that before. Usually runs pretty smooth. But it is uh, still loading up, I guess, in the back. So yeah, I can... Uh, I mean, joystick's there. Uh, right trigger seems to jump. Left trigger will punch. Nothing, 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 nothing. Uh, this does, I don't know what, nothing either. So, like I said, I can't map any uh, keys to the controller, so all I can do is jump, punch, and run. Now, really, that's all you need. If I want to get into a vehicle, I, mean, I just walk up to it. And I'll use the touch screen. Oh, well, it got away from me, but I mean that's what you would do. Let's see. Touch the door button here. Now he's checking the car. Uh, right trigger <laughs> takes you to worse. Oh. Funny thing, uh, the joystick will drive the vehicle. I think before you had to like hold a button to drive the car, but this one needs to use a joystick as if you were walking. Uh, terrible. These trucks are so hard to control. Uh oh. So yeah, that's Grand Theft Auto. And pretty much that's it. That's my review. Ice cream sandwich ROM. Using the Xbox 360 controller to play your um, games on your emulators on the Sonic G tablet.